Welcome back. This is Traders with another episode in the San Diego Crusaders franchise. The franchise with a little bit of a different twist. We're only allowed to sign free agents, only allowed to sign veterans aged 30 or older. We're not allowed to trade. We're not allowed to draft, obviously. And we are now in the uh, first week of the third season uh, since relocating. Uh, really, really great off season that we just completed this is the season that we're going to be heading into right now and of course we're going to have some tricky games in here but i really feel like we're very well prepared to be honest and uh, a few things were awesome in this off season i mean the off season is the most important time for us uh, in this franchise series so in case you didn't watch the episode please do that check it out uh, the off season episode I went for a little bit of a shorter format here. Uh, I did that uh, intentionally to sort of uh, just, yeah, give you a more compressed version of that. But in case, in case if you're interested uh, in more depth and more time spent on the off season, just drop me a comment below. Let me know what you think. Do you like the shorter or the longer version more? Uh, we're gonna dive into the team right now because we did rebuild it quite extensively. Uh, quick reminder, I just let all of the players go that had contracts ending. And uh, yeah, basically we still have Dak Prescott, who is our starting quarterback. He did go down to superstar dev trade, which is not ideal, of course, because it means that he will be losing uh, the superstar X Factor ability. If at some point in time he will get that back, I will be very happy. But uh, yeah, I, I'm not, wouldn't be too sure about that, to be honest. But at 32 and 94, he really is the best uh, quarterback in our age bracket at the moment. Super happy to have him on board. Marcus Mariota with a mentor tag is the backup here, of course. I just want him to add uh, some more experience buffs and boosts to Dak Prescott when training. In half back room, we signed James Conner. Great signing. Very, very happy about this new player here. Uh, he's got a star diff trait. He's 30 years old, 87 rated, and that just means that he will be with us for quite a while. And uh, we might even be able to improve him a little bit because he's still not that old compared to some other players. Uh, we've got Kenyon Drake in here who we did bro uh, bring back. Uh, he was just available, the next best thing on the board. And then I went for Gus Edwards. Uh, same thing. He was just the best uh, running back that was available on the board in our age bracket so i had to go for him and uh, yeah that's that we didn't sign aaron aaron roger no aaron jones sorry uh but uh yeah he would have been available but uh, we didn't go for him because we had other needs and uh yeah not at fullback andy janovic still here still a solid uh fullback there's really not much to say about him he he is there when i need him i just need him as a blocking um you know like a bowling ball just uh, clearing the way wide receivers this is a great addition here michael thomas joined us a uh, free agent best uh, wide receiver in our age bracket available on the board i really gave him a big deal uh 32 years old 91 rated start of trade and at 63 he's also quite tall and i'm really happy that we brought him in really really happy uh, i do hope that he will be a game changer for us here uh, next up, we, we got Robert Woods. He was also a free agent, suddenly available. That was absolutely crazy. So happy Now we brought in another solid wide receiver that is really, really well-rounded. Just take a look at his stats here. Of course, things could be better overall, but for the most part, these are really, really looking good. Robbie Anderson is back. He is, or back. He's still here, <laughs> but I really like him. I, I think that he's, he was a fantastic addition. Uh, he really played so well last season. I just hope that he can sort of stay where he was, uh, not regress too much here, of course. I mean, you can see that this uh, did go down here in off season, quite rough uh, at times, but this is just what we're fighting here in this uh, franchise series. Marcus Valdez Scantling, I picked him, uh, him up because he was just so quick. Speed acceleration, 95-94 as the fastest wide receiver in my age bracket available at free agency so i had to go for him and then we still have tim patrick who i gave a two-year deal so he's still on that deal and pretty happy about that very well-rounded wide receiver room feeling quite 
quite good with this actually these are all more or less the same so these should be interchangeable and michael thomas is a really standing standout wide receiver number one very happy about this speaking of standouts let's take a look at our uh, tight end the new starting tight end is travis kelsey 35 years old 94 overall superstar x factor 10th best tight end in the league i am so happy that he's here what he lacks in certain attributes he more than makes up for in others and he's just such a great player super super happy to have brought him in he really is extremely good i can't stop gushing about him but he's age 35 this might turn out to be a problem i gave him an absolute crazy deal a uh, really really long term here of course uh, there was just uh, no doubt in my mind that i needed to get him in right so it just slapped a huge deal on him and in the end, you know, for a 35 year old, this is really like hitting the jackpot. Tyler Higby is still here as well. He's also been so valuable for us. He will still be valuable for the future. Very happy about him. And then we've got Dan Arnold. He was just the next best tight end that was available. Um, Mo Ali Cox did regress slightly. So Dan Arnold is the guy to go with. And him being quite tall, six foot six, I uh, really expect him to, to just lunge for these balls and just be a good good backup tight end really nothing more than that left tackle still tyron smith no change here he is still there he's still a superstar I'm very very happy about this still a cornerstone in the literal meaning here of the offensive line very very happy uh, we have matt fowler here 76 rated 33 i slapped him over to left tackle he's now a backup here uh i got a better player at left guard gonna show you in a second but yeah this is just a player that we're gonna be rolling with here as a backup since tyron smith is not getting any younger um he might re uh, retire at any point in time so we just need to think of the future don't think that matt fowler is the future by the way we're just pointing that one out left guard andy norwell behind him halapulu vaiti vaitai so there we go andy norwell former commander is going to be our new left guard uh, actually, I'm very happy about this one. Now, I picked him up uh, after the uh, new season started. Usually teams just get a lot of players in free agency and then start cutting them at the beginning of the season. And this is uh, a time where I always snap up a few great players. And I'm going to show you another one shortly. Really, really surprising one in there. Anyways, corner. Uh, no, sorry. Center. There we go. Going to return to the corner. You'll know why I mentioned that one right now. Mitch Morris, 33 years old, 80 overall rated at the center here. I'm very happy about this one, actually. High strength, impact blocking, awareness is super high, lead block is good. So he should really provide some cover for Dak Prescott here. 33, not the youngest, of course, but also not the worst. Lucas Patrick, still only in the backup role. He does have that contract, but doesn't really matter too much. I think he's a very solid backup. And at 32, yeah, why not keep him around? Right guard, Isaac Siumalo. There we go, 31 years old, 79 rated. He was a completely new addition. We didn't have any right guards. And I uh, yeah, just snapped him up as well. He was the best right guard on the board in our age bracket. And uh, so, yeah, that's just what we went with. He's got a high strength rating, which is pretty important. Uh, his backup is Mark Lewinsky, 33 years old, 75 rated. Also, strength awareness are pretty high. But that's about it then. Right tackle, Zach Martin, 34 years old, 99 rated, great player. Uh, fourth best ranked right tackle. I mean, I couldn't ask for much more, honestly, in this in this franchise series. But at 34, again, he might be leaving us anytime soon. And uh, things look pretty badly <laughs> if he were to leave. George Fant is going to be the backup. Pick him up again. Uh, one year deal. Yeah, no surprises there. He's just a solid backup to have, but nothing more than that. Let's take a look at defense. Left edge Demarcus Lawrence, he's still alive and kicking. Start of trade, still the captain at that position. 33 years old, 88 rated, still looking good. I really can't complain about this one here. Uh, very, very happy to have him on board. And then we have Sam Hubbard, uh, former Bengal, 30 years old, 79 rated. He's now a new addition. Of course, he's at the youngest age that I can possibly sign. So he's really new addition here. Uh, pretty chuffed about this one to be honest because he's just a very very good left edge and uh, you know good backup to have in case of an injury to the aging and more and more uh, older uh, Demarcus Lawrence right edge 
D. Forrest Buckner, this was another huge one. Uh, I signed him, of course, as a D tackle, right? 31 years old, 95 rated. I gave him a huge deal, okay? This is just, he got an insane deal. But I was a little bit uh, torn between him and Aaron Donald, but Aaron Donald is way older, he's 34. De Forest Buckner might still be around for a few years for us, so I obviously went for him. He's the seventh best, right end in the game. Fantastic addition to the team. Super, super happy about this one here. Um, and then I switched him over to right edge because I already had a solid D tackle in DJ Reader, of course. So De Forest Buckner is here, and behind him I picked up Dietrich Wise Jr. I'm super happy about this one as well. Also, very, very solid backup. As you can see, the backups are going up in quality as well. This is always a good signal. You know, when you start out and you got a 77 rated starter and then a 50 something, this is horrible, right? But like this, we can deal with this. I can deal with the injuries. If DeForest Buckner were to be injured, of course, it's no real replacement, but he can fill in until DeForest Buckner is back. D tackle time. DJ Reader still around. He is, of course, still my starting D tackle. Felt no need to really change that. Uh, especially, I felt that DeForest Buckner would be better at the edge uh, compared to DJ Reader. But uh, yeah, I also didn't want to change the uh, formation. So i sticking with the formation that we have. And we now have DJ Reader as a starting D-tackle. Fletcher Cox, I switched him back to D-tackle. Again, he's now a backup here. He is regressing quite brutally. But still, of course, has a very well-rounded look overall. Really happy to have him on board still. Left outside linebacker, Hazen Reddick, another one of those that I picked up on day one of the new season. I am so happy about this one, actually. 82 rated, 30 years old, 6 foot 1. Great stuff. He does have weaknesses, power moves, zone courage, block shedding, of course, but for the most part, he's really, really good, really, really flexible, really dangerous. Behind him, still Joe Schobert, solid backup. Didn't need to change this, of course, plus he's super cheap. Really, really cheap. And uh, mid linebacker, we now have Levante David and Bobby Wagner comprising as my two mid linebackers, both really on the old side, of course. Uh, Bobby Wagner still on that big deal. Levante David on a one year deal. Most of these are actually on a one year deal. Alex Anzalone and Nicholas Morrow as well. If these two do go up a little bit higher, they might replace these two at some point in time. But of course, in this franchise series, you just gotta be flexible. Gotta. Uh, react quickly to players regressing or leaving or retiring and then you just got to be ready. Anyways, we've got a lot of mentors in here as well, so we might really see some cool boosts uh, in terms of experience. Right outside linebacker. I snagged Zedarius Smith because he was suddenly available as a, as a free agent on uh, day one. We've got Chandler Jones, he's back on a one-year deal and Quan Alexander, same thing. I was thinking of cutting Quan Alexander actually because we actually have Zadarius Smith who is looking super solid. It's going to be my starter here, but I'll just keep him around and just see. Maybe we do have injuries. I can always cut him later. I have no problems with the squad size. Cornerbacks. Here we go. Jalen Ramsey, 30 years old, 99 rated. Did regress in overall, of course, uh, in terms of his death trade. He's now a star death trade, but he was suddenly available. And I can only explain this in one way. Because we had uh, Daxton Hill, 24-year-old uh, free safety. He was a free agent. I don't know why, because he's, a, he's, a, he's an X-factor. And this is crazy, actually, to see him. Sadly, he was too young for me to pick up. Um, so I just left that. Uh, went, to bong, uh, went on my... My ways uh, just uh, took care of my business and suddenly Jalen Ramsey was available. And this was no time to think about it, right? I couldn't give him the number five, so I slapped number 15 on him. But uh, that being said, I'm super happy that we have a great corner right now. He's 30, he's 99 rated. He will be with us for a very long time. We've got a solid cornerback room now. We've got James Bradbury, the fourth. We've got Rasul Douglas. We've got Jonathan Jones, I've got William Jackson the third, and I could really see Rasul Douglas and Jalen Ramsey being my CB1 and CB2 at some point in time, as soon as James Bradbury regresses a little bit. Uh, but for the moment, he is still the second best corner that we have in our squad, of course, and just a lot of depth. You know, these four here, really very close to each other, once more, very similar to the wide receiver room, one standout, super happy about this. Free safety, Quandra Diggs, 
and Xavier Woods. Uh, Quandary Deeks, again, one of those day one snacks. Really, really great that we got him. 30 best uh, ranked free safety in the league. Good solid attributes. Tackle is a little bit weaker. Block shading, of course, as well. Power moves, finesse moves super low. But a lot of good attributes in there. So I'm super happy that he's here. And Xavier Woods is really a solid back. About 30 and 79 rated. I can't really complain about this one very close to each other so if one is injured the other one can really jump in there plus quantitics is a mentor so this should improve Xavier Woods over the next few years strong safety time let's take a look here Jimmy Ward 34 82 and Marcus May 32 81 both super solid both really really uh, experienced strong safeties absolutely chuffed to have them in the team speed pursuit hit power acceleration very high block shading not as much of course Injury is solid, and uh, in Marcus May, we have a really, really good second strong safety. So very happy about this one. Kicker, Matt Gay. Punter is Johnny Hecker. So two former Rams right here. And they've got no draft picks apart from one that I can't get rid of, of course. I will be getting rid of this one as soon as I have new draft picks and then move on to a seventh rounder in 2028, just sort of pushing away. But we've got nothing for this year and then nothing in the practice squad, of course. And then we're back full circle. Uh, you can see that we've got no players that are younger than 30 in the squad at the moment. The players will only get older and we'll have to deal with that. All right, with all, with all of that said and done, we're now going to take a look at the Philadelphia Eagles. And then we're going to head straight into the game and try kick off this season in a winning fashion. All right, let's take a look here at the Eagles. Phil Jurkovets, or, or Jurkovec, sometimes this way, sometimes that way, is the pronunciation. Scarlett Thompson, Carson Strong are here. No real good quarterback. This is interesting, right? They did have Jalen Hurts, but they didn't give him a new deal. So now we're facing Phil Jurkovec as the starting quarterback. We might really have a chance here. We might be able to limit him. Of course, at halfback, we've got Bijan Robinson, we've got Miles Sanders, both elite uh, running backs, Bijan Robinson, absolute beast, great, great player, ninth best already, top one percentile of halfbacks, absolutely insane. He's so good for me in the Dolphins franchise, so do check that out if you haven't already. Really, really great fun uh, developing players very differently to this franchise premise here. Miles Sanders, really elite, Nicholas Singleton, a rookie, and they've got Catron Allen, another rookie. But uh, yeah, we've got two elite running backs, so the run game will be strong. Fullback Patrick Ricard, 31 uh, years old, 84 rated. Wide receivers Devonta Smith, 98. AJ Brown, 95. McCall Hardman with a 90 rating. These are all crazy ratings, man. Really, really crazy. Joining from the Kansas City Chiefs. But, you know, what more can I say? Xavier Worthy is also there. Another Texas Longhorn really solid wide receiver that i used in one of my rebuilds and he was really really good for me there uh next up we do have patrick davis cam Patton, who i would say are decent but uh, yeah starting with zaver worthy and upwards really dangerous wide receiver is very quick just take a look at this here 97 97 that's absolutely crazy man tight end still dallas goddard would be falling into our age bracket, uh, age bracket right now but we don't need him <laughs> of course uh, we're going to take a look at his, at his contracts, though. Just interested in this. Oh, he's out of a contract after this year. Uh, well, this would really push our tight end room even further. But let's take a look. Jake Johnson, a rookie, is here. Grant Calcaterra, two decent ones. Dallas Goddard, of course, really, really good. Left tackle, Jordan Melata and Julian Armeya behind him. Uh, left guard, Landon Dickerson, 26.88 behind him. Drew Kendall, 22.86. Jesus H. Christ. I would actually put Drew Kendall as my starter, to be honest. And use Lanton Dickerson elsewhere on the line. But, yeah. Not much more to add to this one, of course. Uh, Philly Eagle over a long period of time. Center, Cam Jurgens, 26.80 overall. Josh Barretta uh, as the backup here. Right guard is Royce Newman. And Max Sharping as the backup. Royce Newman, definitely solid. Blake Fisher at right tackle, 22.75 and 24.71. Does Blake Fisher have a start of trait? Nope. Uh, I'd actually change this. I would uh, be putting one of these two onto the right tackle position and use him there because then Blake Fisher would be able to develop behind him. 
and that would be sword edge lift edge greg rousseau oh my lord this is a super dangerous lift edge miles murphy also here super super good looking player and wow what a name nijelik kelly out of miami hope i got that one right a rookie of course with a hidden death trade as well wow looking very very promising for the future josh sweat is here as well 28 93 oh my lord those edge rushers and gunner givens d tackle jordan davis oh lord it's only getting worse to sean wharton and travis shaw as the rookie left outside linebackers max pearson 23 77 and Ben Whitley behind him. No danger there. Mid linebacker Leighton Van Der Esch. Things just get worse on this defense. This is a really rock solid defense, man. And Elliot Knox right outside linebacker Kaiser White 29 87. And Lonnie Vanover cornerback Darius Slade Jr. 34 89 rated. Asante Samuel Jr. 25 89 rated. Oh my god, Deuce Chestnut 22 and 84 with the start of trade actually looking super promising man what a great addition here and a zach sutton and then we've got kaito uh, who was initially with the miami dolphins of course the udfa out of the 2022 rookie draft this looks like a dangerous cornerback room free safety jabril peppers can it get any worse not really who's that strong safety brant joseph 23 90 rated oh good god he's a start of trade as well looking very very tough and juan yay thomas kicker car santos punter ryan Wright. so there we go now we know what to do right let's take a look at weekly strategy of course we're gonna do what we do best we're gonna defend the short pass and hope that we can also limit the running um i will be going with full pass but i will be splitting here uh, I do hope that we get a lot of experience points to keep the status quo of most of these players going. Uh, we're going to go with a blitz counter. Of course, uh, this just is the only thing that makes sense, in my opinion. A few tired players here. Why, guys? Anyhow, let's go with the half pads. Uh, or do we go with the, no, let's go with the full pads, but we're going to split this. Because it's only backup players that are super tired, so doesn't really matter too much maybe they played in preseason games and then were released uh we'll never know uh what really happened all right the weekly game plan is we're gonna sack the quarterback five times i think that is realistic 24 points 250 offensive yards and we will do what exactly 15 first downs let's try and achieve this apart from that the focus players i do want to adjust these uh do i know i'm gonna go for dak prescott i need him to stay where he is at the moment uh who else do we want to focus on i would like to go for players that are a little bit on the younger side and keep them from regressing too hard so james connor actually makes sense and then i mean it would be jalen ramsey right but is there anybody else that i just want to sort of keep at that level rasul douglas maybe push him up a little bit at corner uh, Robert Woods, who else is there? Well, Hayson Reddick might even be a good choice at left outside linebacker. With that said, let's start our training. Defensive training results are in and we have nothing to report. No injuries, only experience points distributed. Not a lot, I'll be that, but uh, we still get enough to sort of keep uh, this team alive, more or less. Literally alive. Upgrade player time. We do have a lot also at a preseason. I didn't upgrade anybody there, so let's go with this. Power for Halapulivati Vaitai. He's now 71 base with those plus three bonus buffs. Now we're going to put this into physical. I do expect us to really fight hard for balls here in this season. Need my players to be ready for that. Power halfback for James Conner. Let's see if he can be as good as Melvin Gordon was. Hayson Reddick here. Where do I put this? I think Speed Rusher would make sense. Ah, let's put it in the Power Rusher. Let's try and get him into the uh, Scheme Fit category. That just helps us when the uh, simming defense, of course. Marcus Valdez Scantling. I will be putting this into Physical. We'll just try and upgrade him to be tougher, of course, uh, to really contend and, and really contest those catches. Uh, not, not be an easy pushover for the defensive players. Dietrich was junior, right edge, run stopper will be his additional pointer. 
players like these are awesome and we just got them out of free agency really really happy about that joe schobert just gonna slap that into run stopper just get him as high as we can because getting him to be a scheme fit would be nigh impossible matt filer backup of course at the left tackle position gonna put this in a power as well just give him as much power as we can and finally d forest buckner gonna put this into run stopper of course look at this beast that we have here at a right edge super happy about this player really really happy can't put that into words uh, the team really got a huge boost over this off season and also this uh, starting day here was really really great to to get a lot of things done uh, i will now be slapping points over here i'll be putting those into these categories because i do want to have as many focus players as we can stop as many players from regressing as we can uh gonna take a quick look at uh, the team over here in the uh, just lineup category we're gonna go here generate the best lineup and i think this is more or less the thing uh more or less uh, the lineup that we had before anyways we are really looking very very solid nothing otherworldly here but just a really solid team this is what i really like to see we've got the specialists chosen we've got the practice squad empty of course because there's no one that we could sign taking a look at the third running back really thinking i don't want to have connor doing everything right so but these two are just really that much worse off so i think Je james Conner will have to do a lot of things all right guys with that said and done we are finally ready to head into the first game of this season we're going to be playing the Philip lincoln financial field is going to be the venue for this game against the philadelphia eagles first game of the season for us and it's going to be an away game Dak prescott is ready showing off the away uniforms of course as are our defensive players phil yurkovec here the home uniform is what i gave the eagles just makes sense to have them play in the home uniform plus it's pretty well distinguishable from ours so no problems there really like the green and the eagles are really one of those teams that i do want to make uh make a franchise series in the future probably going to be a post draft one immediately after the draft ends picking one of the community files for the roster and then just doing another franchise series sort of madden 24 style anyhow we're first on the on the board not on the board i'd like to be already but we're gonna be first on the ball there we go we're gonna be using our new running back james connor straight away jesus a lot of contact here how many yards do we get four yards is the pickup that is positive we're gonna go with an inside zone i know that i chose the blitz counter here but uh just want to see oh man leighton van der Esch. seriously man third and four tight end drive tyler higby called into action here travis kelsey as well off we go and higby gets the first down here I'm not going to say comfortably, but he was just in my checkdowns. He was very well available. And uh, so we are going to go with, let's go with a halfback dive. Why not? Why wouldn't we? The run game has always been super solid for us. And uh, I see no reason to change that. But of course, running into this is like running into a brick wall. We're going to set up here. Is this the best? Oh my god, I almost thought he had that one. Third and nine. Oh, this is like pulling teeth now. This is really, really slow going. Travis Kelsey, Robbie Anderson. I feel like this is a good choice, but might as well be a bad one again. And why is it so inaccurate? God freaking hell, man. Dak Prescott, come on. I'm just really, really scared of the time when Dak will retire come on just push him down get him down there we go number 55 big guy 
Phil Jurkovic. Home advantage, of course, and he's got a lot of offensive weapons. A lot of really nasty offensive weapons that he can utilize. But I mean, so do I. And I haven't done that yet. I really need to step it up now. Two minutes and three. Our defense has given us a lifeline. Jesus. Leighton Van Risch really reacting so quickly. And an offensive foul. Is it going to be Turnsmith? Well, who else? Who else would it be? I mean, sadly, he's the best left tackle that's available for me. Wow. Second and 20. Guys, can we... Can we play... Well, <laughs> please. Robert Woods, third and nine. All right, here we go. I am going to watch Robert Woods, but I am also going to keep an eye out for Connor because those are really... That's a good run. Good stay farm here. First down for the Crusaders, James Connor. Really well done. Really well done on that one. Breaks through. A little bit of a high throw. What's with that guy all of a sudden? I would really expect him to be just, you know, like throwing super, super precise bombs. But this is not really happening. Let's go the read. But the midline backers are not opening up. Not opening up. And this is uh, this is always important. If they do open up. Let me just show you what I mean when I say open up, you know. These are the midline backers here. And uh, from this point of view, uh, here's the fake and here comes the player. And I would need the space uh, around here for the catch, basically, for, for these runs. And the number 43 isn't moving. He's not going away. So I have to wait. I have to wait. Perf in a perfect world, I would throw him now. Because this is just when when uh, the runner loses his defender and he sort of turns inside and has a lot of space to run into. But 43 is covering that space. So I have to go for, for uh, I have to wait until I feel like it's safe to throw. And this is now because 43 is going the opposite direction. And Kelsey goes, of course, in straight line. But then there's Van Der Esch, who's just waiting there as well. Just does enough to put Travis Kelsey off. So, tricky. Second and ten. Going forward. Third and six. Not really the progress I'd like to see here. Let's go with this one. Robert Woods. Do I get him free? Do we trust in Robert Woods? Oh, man. He was there. He was there, he was there, and uh, he should have got that ball. Oh, slightly inaccurate, slightly towards the right, but is that going to be good? No, it's short. God damn it. But our defense holds them. <laughs> Very defense heavy game at the moment. James Conner could be running again. Let's go. James Conner, off we go. What a hit. What a hit, and one yard only. I mean, I, I really like playing tough defenses because it just, uh, you know, you've got to be super focused, got to really figure out what to do here. But, oh my God. But, you know, if every player on the defensive side is just such a solid player, it really makes it hard. It really makes it very hard to figure out the best way to go. Right, let's go with this one here. All right. I mean, that screen worked well. Three minutes, 25. And uh, that is Robert Woods breaking through. Another former LA Ram. Sort of collecting those at the moment. That was a, that was a really well-worked screen. A well-worked screen is what I wanted to say. <laughs> Even if it came out really strangely. All right, what do we do? 
Let's go this one here. We'll go with an RPO. I'm not feeling that one at all. I feel like Woods might be a good choice. Like now. Oh, Jesus. But the ball is sort of floating through the air like a butterfly. Not zipping like a bullet. And that's what I want to see. I want to see a bullet pass, man. And again, do you, do you see the coverage? It's always a player there. Always one player there to just put a, put a hand in between. And, you know, it's nothing more than that is needed. It's Woods. He's free. Boop. There we go. And again, it's one of the mid linebackers. Really nasty. Really nasty situation. This is a very, very tricky one. Come on. Tyler Higby, push forward, fourth and inches. And that is the best case, to be honest. Nicole Dean with the stop here. And boop. I I'm not going to punt. Certainly not. We're going to go the handback dive here. It is fourth and inches, and we're going to get there. Right? Go, 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 go. And. I do believe that we got the first down. Seven rushes, 15 yards. I think that tells you everything about this game. Wait, what? Jesus, man, we didn't get it. Oh, come on, guys. Are you serious? Come on, J Come on, James, was what I wanted to say, but... Leighton Van Der Esch, man. As soon as the guy turns 30, I mean, I just hope that he's available. Right, let's go. Come on, let's go for the snap. Jesus, man. Snap is also taking ages. What is the effect suddenly that we're having here? Soft ground, all right. Away team is more vulnerable to fake snaps, yeah. That is what I'm feeling right now. Whew, guys. Sorry, but, uh, you know, everybody go home. Leighton Van Der is on fire today. And uh, he's not going to let any ball through. Johnny Hecker, better beware. Are we serious? Oh, that is great. Bobby Wagner gets a fumble. Didn't expect that to happen, but... That is awesome, man. The midline backer veteran gets that ball here. And that is great. And I, I didn't expect him to have the ball... I should have run. Should have just run straight ahead, but I didn't expect him to to be there. And there we go. James Conner up to the 22. A little bit more production right now. As we move the chains. And number 60 really really good on those blocks. I would really like to go for a screen, but those haven't worked at all. So what do I do here? Take a look at the defensive setup. What would you do? Let's try flood drive. Let's try getting Michael Thomas out there. And that is awesome. Michael Thomas with a great reception here. 6 and 16 for Dak Prescott. Absolutely horrible ratings. Thomas gets the distance, connects with the ball, gets both hands on it, and that is great. Halfback dive, James Conner. There we go. Slightly towards your right-hand side. And here we go. And it's going to be smothered. Second and goal at the three. Let us try this one here. All right. We're going to set this one up here, but I will be going for... How much time do I have? Let's go with an inside zone split. Are they going to react to that one? Well, more or less. 
Let's go. And we're in. We are in. First touchdown of this season for us. First touchdown for James Conner, who can be very satisfied with this. He's, he's really stepping into, you know, do you say, is that a saying in English? He has, uh, you know, big footsteps that he has to fill, big shoes. That, I think it's big shoes that he has to fill, something like that. But, uh, yeah, it really does. Melvin Gordon was awesome. He was such a powerhouse. Come on, defense. 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 Come on and hold them, please. Inside zone. Left-hand side. Let's go. James Conner. Going over there. And Leighton Von Risch. Once he really gets to grips, there's no getting around him. No getting around that player. Ah, and again, who's there? Nathan Andrich. Inside zone, left-hand side. And off we go. And who's there? Number 55, number 91. All right, at least it's number 91 at once. For once. And Mike Tomlins can really be happy. Really be satisfied with this. It was a good pickup. It was all we needed. We didn't need anything fancy. Mountain zone week. Um, let's go with this. I saw here. Right hand side. Oh, I'd really love to get one of those on their backs. Not sure if we're going to get that done. But, but we're going to be developing him further into uh, a power back. And this will improve his stiff arming and so on. And just improve his power going forward. James Conner once more put on his back here at the 50-yard line in the third quarter. Let's go. Really, really liking this. This franchise here is really a lot of fun. As frustrating as Madden and games can sometimes be, but the premise is just so fun. Didn't expect it to really click uh, with me as much as it did. I don't know what you think, but let me know. Second and nine here. Clear out. A lot of complicated routes. A lot of corners and additional corners and whatnot. Not really like that too much. As the third quarter does come to an end. Slightly ahead on passing yards. Uh, let's see. Let's go the dagger. Second and nine. I'm looking for Kelsey. Well done, Travis Kelsey. Third and one. Halfback smash. Slightly towards the left this time. Is that a good idea? Hmm. These are really cool ones, actually, but on third and one, I'm not going to do anything too crazy. I'm just going to pick up that first down. We're in the fourth quarter after all, you know. Why would I need to go crazy? There we go. Pushing forward. 78. That's Isaac Silmalo with those long hair. Halfback dive, left hand side. Is he left better? I don't know. It's actually the side where Leighton Van Resch is shaping up. Pushing forward, second and six. Blunt dive, again, left hand side. Not liking this one, it's a little bit too, too steep. Let's try this. Good God, man, we're not getting through. Not getting through. Tight end drive. Let's go with this one. I've got Kelsey. I've got Higby. I do have Arnold as well, but I'm not going to go with him, of course. And this is Higby. He was free very quick. Just went for him. And basically, I'm really starting to think of clock management right now. 
let's see. Quick pace. Oh, great shoving here. You do get a hit quite well. Halfback slam next. Two minute warning. All right. Really a nice stadium here. Really like this one. Halfback smash, left hand side, we're at the 14 yard line. All right. There we go. Some very good space here. Lonnie even over. 93 picking up an injury here. We're at the 10 yard line and it's it's maybe a little bit early to start wasting time. So I feel like I'm just gonna be going for that touchdown. <laughs> and do you wanna guess who got there? Absolute destruction, man. Absolute destruction. Four verticals, let's go. I'm not gonna go with this one, of course. I feel like I should go with something like this here. I'm gonna go with Kelsey or Woods. Ah, Kelsey, beautiful man! Absolutely beautiful! Pushing forward! Oh, what's that? Ball is sticky? Alright, Travis, well done, man. Well done. Take a look at that. With the yards after contact. Number one, number two, number three. And Jabril Peppers had nothing on Travis Kelsey here. Well done. Absolutely well done, guys. Come on, defense. Please hold them. Guys. That sucks. <laughs> that just sucks. Let, let, let me put it that way. Why can't we not hold them? One, one single time, please, when it counts. All right. Robbie Anderson cannot hold on to the ball. Matt Gay. I know that we need to get him into field goal range now. We need to draw the game. But this is just... This is not what I wanted to see, to be honest. This is really not what I wanted to see. Let's go. Let us go with this. And of course, we're going to put him on a hot route. I want to see Woods on that hot route. Valdez Scantling. And that was great, man. 20 seconds on the clock we're at the 36 yard line great connection here between Dak Prescott and Valdez Scantling and this is why I wanted him speed great speed great catch on the run gets the ball under control and then he's off and stepping out of bounds as well very important to enable us uh yeah to just <laughs> get that on do we do we go for another one can we fool them again? I mean, I'm not sure. I'm not sure if we're going to pull this one off. But we're going to try. We're going to try. Here they come. Safe. Did he drop it? Oh, he dropped it. Ah, uh, that was not great. Quick slam. Four verticals. Let's try this one here. Travis Kelsey. Off to the left. Oh god, I pressed the wrong freaking button. No. No, why did I do that? Ah. Oh. Yeah, this is absolutely on me. God freaking damn it. Oh my god, why did I do that? I pressed R1 instead of the Freaking X button. Jesus, man. Oh, that is just me. That is my stupidity again. Jesus, God damn it, Christ, and everything else that is holy. 
and he drops it he freaking drops drops the ball man what an unnecessary loss here what a freaking unnecessary loss but we can't get the win cannot get the win against this quarterback man Phil Jukovic 70 rated feast your eyes on this guys 43% completion rate 10 and 23 one touchdown 135 yards this is abysmal James Conner was really good he was really good on the catching side I mean Valdez Scantling that one catch was really gold Robert Woods it was just so many drops it's just so many drops why 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 do we drop them it's just one recorded here but there were so many more dudes late man rush tackle leader who else tackles for loss quite a few spread around DeForest Buckner with a sack Miles Murphy Levante David DJ Reader what a horrible way to start the season especially against I mean it's a tough team the Eagles are really tough 93 92 92 overall <laughs> that with a really bad quarterback as well the, the Giants are up next away again let's see if we can pull off something better there but you know, really disappointed about this one was really hoping to see something something way better here but yeah didn't get that done we'll have to chalk it off uh focus next week against the Giants away again really really excited to see where we're gonna land how we're gonna do the season I feel that the team is really really good uh very good players across uh all positions so we should really have a chance here but we just need to step it up and play way more concentrated and focused with that said guys I'm gonna say thank you for being here thank you for watching hope you enjoyed this episode uh yeah if you liked it drop me a like and subscribe it means a lot to me and as always thanks for watching see you next time